Hey friends, we might have some lukewarm tea. I was checking out Josh's Facebook today and amongst all of the fun posts about cars and Ozzy, there was one post that I thought was really interesting. And it's not this cool old Victorian house, although I do like that as well. This is something that is making me feel like there might be something going on between Josh and now that we don't know about. So Josh made this post. It says, narcissists provoke you until they bring out your ugly side, then play victim when you go there yikes so i clicked on this and then i was like let me look at the comments and here's all the comments someone asked jessica question mark someone said are you talking about anyone in particular and i screen recorded this last night so here's a screenshot from this morning okay so we've had about 12 hours pass there are two more comments um i think everyone thinks that this post is about jessica for sure and it's interesting and I think it's tea because why would he leave this comment asking if it's Jessica there? Because Josh is very like protective of his comments. Like we know on YouTube, he has comments turned off. Um, it seems like for the most part, he lets comments fly on Facebook. But I still don't think like if they were good or like if something wasn't going on that he would leave that there. I think he would delete it or tell the person to F off or he would have some sort of a reaction. I think it's definitely suspicious that he left it there. So that's just me. So is something going on? Did they have a fight? I don't know. Um, now did come on Twitch briefly last night in her friend's car. And um, I guess she was hanging out with her gal pal, the one that lives in Virginia Beach. And they've been gallivanting around. This friend has been... Uh, having Nal help with cleaning her house and she's been taking her places. So she's basically Nal's new uh, little, I guess, personal taxi driver to take her wherever she wants and do whatever she wants. So, um, you know, I don't like friendships like that. I had friendships like that when I was younger and always feeling like people were just using me because I could drive them places or whatever. And that is like still a thing, you know, like no matter how old you get, you're always going to have like those people in your life that are just like users and they're out there and they're kind of like looking for people to take advantage of. So I don't know this person that's becoming friends with her now, all of a sudden, I know she's also like hanging around reaction channels and she's been in girl world. I don't know her username or anything like that, but this is just the tea kind of going around the community. And also vaguely, I remember specifically, I was in the very um, live stream where this girl reached out to her in the chat. And unfortunately, I didn't screenshot it or record it. Or if I did, I can't remember what video it was. But I just remember it sticking out to me that there was a woman in the chat saying, hey, I live in Virginia Beach, we should meet up. I remember that sticking out to me because that was the one and only comment I'd ever seen like that on any live that I'd been recording or watching or anything. Um, and now I wish I had <laughs> taken a screenshot or something. I don't know who this person is. Um, but even if I did, I wouldn't out them because that's not my place. But uh, I just I just remember that. So I feel like that's really interesting. And again, you know, this girl is um, apparently really messy and now is helping her clean her house. So I had questions about that. Like, well, is this girl maybe going to like pay for her ticket to go see him? Is this girl going to like pay her for helping her clean? Like, is this going to be also someone who she's getting money from now? Um, there's just so many things that we could speculate about. So I feel like it's just juicy gossip and tea. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and spill that and talk about that a little bit. Um, I do have some Twitch streams from now, from uh, the night before last, uh, but I have hours and hours and hours to go through. So I'm going to be working on videos for those. <laughs> In the meantime, there's another Josh post that I want to talk about. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so this is the one that Josh posted nine hours ago. I'm cutting down on my drinking. I'm tired of fighting with people about it. I go through spells where I drink a lot and then I cut down and I just need to cut down and keep it at a healthier level of consumption. This is my decision alone. No one else's. Ooh, so is this what they're fighting about? I don't know. But look, Jessica actually replied to this post. She said, you got this, babe. I support you. And then a bunch of people replied to her. 
Okay, so Jessica said, you got this, babe. I support you. And people replied to her, you should do a sober pack together. Worked well for me and mine. Someone replied, aw. Someone said, I think y'all both need to stop drinking. It's the root of y'all's problems. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that maybe more people commented in the middle of the night. But you know what? This morning, Jessica's comment is no longer there. It's gone. Either she deleted it or Josh did. I have a feeling she did because she was probably getting like all sort of horrible replies. Um, 91 people did give it like emoji likes. So yikes. And I clicked on the emoji likes to see what they looked like. And for the most part, it is the laughing emoji. Like most people are just like, oh, how freaking ironic and how freaking funny. Jessica, the confirmed alcoholic is going to help her alcoholic boyfriend sober up. Like, that's called codependency. Two alcoholics are not going to help each other in a relationship unless both want to get sober. That's just the truth. One cannot be sober while the other is not. Um, and even though technically he's not saying he's going to be sober, he's saying he's going to cut down, whatever that means. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous. And there's a lot of really good comments on his page from other people as well saying, my Lord, this is a wise decision. A clear mind can conjure more power. Do not lose sight of your quest for the clock tower. <laughs> I like that comment a lot. Um, a lot of people are also saying you're not going to cut down. This person said it's not the drinking, it's the duster. Those do long-term non-repairable brain damage. Have you stopped yet? I'm glad about the drinking being cut out as that wasn't doing you any favors. And Josh actually replied. He actually replied. Yes, I have. I don't remember the last time I did air duster and I'm glad I quit doing that crap. And someone said, Josh, you're a fucking junkie. Yikes. Um, so a lot of people were responding. Everybody was like, oh my God, this Josh's Facebook was lit last night. Usually his Facebook is boring AF. Um, but we've, we've got so much tea here and so much going on. I just was like really excited to come and share all this with you. And I'm glad I got a lot of these screenshots and video last night because again, um, a lot of this stuff may be deleted soon. So, and some of it already is right. Um, so again, I think it's great if he wants to cut down on drinking. I think that's amazing. However, I hope that if he does, he still has a personality and lets it shine through because a lot of people were saying that the other night when he was doing his live, the reason why he seemed like a dick and basically like no personality, he wasn't being fun. He seemed miserable is because he's like maybe going through some alcohol withdrawals, like from not drinking as much. And that's something I hadn't thought about. Um, but definitely he would be going through that if he's someone that's used to drinking every day and he starts cutting back, there can be actual medical problems that you have. And it's actually a smart idea for Josh to talk to a doctor about weaning off alcohol and get some professional advice on how to do that. And I know he's an oppositionally defiant boy, so he's probably not going to want to do that. But I really think that if he cares about his long-term health and his liver and everything, um, he should go and do that. He should talk to a doctor about it. But anyway, a lot of people are saying, proud of you, Kobe. You can do it, dude. You can do it, bro. We see a lot of um, really positive comments here. So that's nice to see. Um, you know, I wish him the best as far as that goes. And, um, you know, I, I do think that he can go back to being an entertaining person without it, but he's probably just uh, feeling miserable and probably also just been super stressed with the move and everything going on. So I don't know, maybe I'm being too nice. <laughs> um, but you know, hey, it's the morning. Okay. I, I, I haven't got my full sass on yet today, guys. Um, <laughs> so, so let's see what some of these other comments are. And, and then we'll move on to the next thing here. Um, a lot of people are saying like, I feel you. I've had to do this too. Um, you know, they're proud of him. They think that moderation is key. Oh, great. Here's a comment. Angelique is also saying the same thing I just said about go and see a doctor, make an appointment and get guidance. That's going to be the best way to reduce your drinking and be honest about where you are as far as your consumption. Yeah. So that was one thing I was actually reading about last night because I got curious, um, was to be like really honest with your doctor if you're going to the doctor about that sort of thing. Now, here's the ironic part. Josh posted this video last night making this Skittles mead. He showed us a closet where he's going to be keeping his mead. And I just don't think this is good for Josh to do. I think learning how to make mead was the worst thing that ever happened to him. It just gave him more easy access to the stuff, you know? Um, and so, you know, I just really wish that he would... Uh, 
he's got to stop doing all this homemade mead. Um, it's too much of a temptation if he constantly has that around, if he really wants to cut back. But I do think it's an interesting concept here with the Skittles. Um, I personally would never try to make this or drink the one he made. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I'm just going to get my, my booze from, you know, already produced and manufactured places. <laughs> I'm not going to try to make that at, at home. No, I don't want. A lot of people were talking about like, okay, well, if he doesn't make it right or if he drinks it, you know, too soon and he doesn't let it like ferment long enough, what kind of problems can he have? Like gastrointestinal problems, like <laughs> stuff you probably probably don't want to think about. But like, it's true. Like he could definitely have some issues. I mean, it's probably not going to kill him, but it could make him pretty sick for a few days. Right. So he's got to be making it properly and treating it properly. Okay. We see some of the, Ooh, we see some of the background here. Okay. He's got blue walls. We can see that it's got an indented and angled ceiling. We see the modular walls or wall paneling or whatever. So trailer confirmed, in my opinion, it's a trailer. Um, a lot of people were already saying that in my comments last night as well. So I just think that's cool. Interesting. Um, his new digs are looking cool. His kitchen's pretty big. I have to say this place looks a lot nicer than I thought it would be. And it's bigger than I thought it would be. So good on you, Josh. I guess, I guess the trolls lose because. <laughs> Josh is moving up in the world, right guys? Um, let's see here. I guess I'm just nosy and I guess he rules my sad life. So now's Twitch yesterday was deleted again, but only for like five hours, maybe not even that long. Then it came back. <laughs> so I had made a post saying it was gone and people were replying, no, it's there. And I was like, it's already back. So it was gone and then it came back. So I don't know if she filed a second appeal. If she did, um, okay, so that's strike two. How many strikes on Twitch until you're out? Jessica, read their terms of service and follow what their guidance is. People were saying it's important to categorize your videos appropriately on Twitch. So make sure that if you're doing a chatting stream, it's in the chatting category. If you're doing a sleep stream, it's in the sleeping category. Make sure you're not using a lot of profanity and vulgar language. I know that's going to be hard for you, Jessica, because, you know, I thought I cursed like a sailor in real life, but wow, girl, you put me, you put us all to shame, I think. Um, so anyway, she's back on Twitch. Uh, we're going to be checking out those Twitch streams. Like I said, I have like almost four hours <laughs> of Twitch stream to sift through to get to the good parts. Um, but the best part I had talked about in my community post, and that was her talking about trying to get a flight to Casper. Her and her friend were saying, you know, it would be cool for her to fly there. And she wants to try to go on August 19th or around then because that's when they found like some cheap flights or something. I don't remember specifically, but I will get those clips together and have those out by tomorrow. I might even be able to do it by tonight, but we'll see if nothing else tomorrow morning. Um, so look for that video soon. And I think that's all the tea I have for now. Let me double check. All right, that's all I got. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the stream from her Twitch last night, the one where she was in the car and you can hear her friends, um, Blinker or whatever is on in the car. And I'm just going to let you guys watch this one. Please enjoy. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment or two down below, um, share it, and I'll see you in the next video. Members, thank you so much. I will have you guys updated as well. And um, you'll be seeing new members at the end of the video uh, posted. So look, looking forward to doing that. And thank you again for joining you guys. Um, if you want to join, the link is in the chat. I appreciate the memberships because they really help support the channel. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you soon. All right, here's Nal's Twitch stream from last night, Sunday, May 19th. She's sitting in complete darkness. I think she was waiting in her friend's car because she doesn't show us anything. It's just a black screen the entire time she's talking. And then the stream ends abruptly, like her friend came back and she like had to get off or something. Um, people were having some really fun speculations in the chat. And <laughs> um, I think like after the fact, so I don't know what's what was going on, but it's interesting. So please enjoy and I'll see you guys soon.
Oh, which, which strawberry? I had two strawberry people fall up. Are you the one that had the picture with the Bigfoots? I hope you're having fun with your friend. Killer Tofu, what's going on? Oh, okay, Killer. That's nice to know, thank you. Okay, alright. Alright, yeah, I just wanted to go live for a few minutes. I'm not going to be on too long, but... I'm going to be busy here in a little bit with my friend, so... And I think it's hilarious that, um... Obese buffalo puffer fish thinks she knows who my friend is, but anyways... Stay obsessed, baby doll. <clears throat> yeah. We're going to clean. I don't have that much to do. I'm going to time myself for an hour. But I think I should be able to get it done in under an hour. But, yeah. That's what we're going to do for a little bit. It's not going to be... It's not going to be like last night for like hours on end. Just maybe like an hour or two and... And that's it, and but I'm just streaming from a dark location right now so I can have some privacy. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, so I figured I would go live for a little bit. At least it's something, you know. Although, I really don't like how, um, if the camera's faced on me, the lighting is really terrible. But if I switch it over the other way, the lighting is fine. I don't know what that is. Because if I'm on YouTube, it's fine. If I'm on Instagram, it's fine. But there's a problem on Twitch. And I tried messing with my settings hoping that would work and it hasn't done anything and there's no settings on here before I go live so I don't I don't really know I'm just cleaning her house I'm just going to be doing her living the rest of her living room and um I never called her a hoarder either uh by the way Messica so you know, quit putting food in your mouth and chomping when you're, when I'm talking and so you mishear me, you know, like try to, try to not eat so much when you're stalking and watching me so you can hear Then I never said that. So, <clears throat> well, I'm not going to be live for too long. I'm just hanging out in a undisclosed location for a little bit and then yeah and then we're gonna go clean and have fun and then I'm gonna sleep really good tonight when I go home I know that much Why is that so heavy? Alright. What ticking? I don't hear any ticking. What are you talking about? got going on. I've got so much stuff. Let me see. I've got like acid, acid reflux or something.
You'll be back at... Well, who are you, senpai? You'll be back at your house. Who are you? Hey, Kate. How are you? I'm good. Oh, wow. I'm good. Besides having, like, acid reflux all of a sudden. Um, I'm just with my friend. We're going to go to her house in a little bit. And, uh... Do a little bit more cleaning and hang out, and then, but it's not gonna be like it was last night for hours and hours. Just a little hangout or little cleaning hangout thing, and I'm good. I got a lot done in my room today, too, so it's just what it's gonna be lately. It's clean, clean, clean. So. And it's good that I'm in the mood to do that for my room, because it needs it majorly. And by tomorrow, I should be able to have that dresser up in my room. So, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I thought... Oh my god. I'm really slow tonight. Like, I know you just told me you were the strawberry person, but for some reason I thought your Twitch name was different. I don't know. D forgive me. I'm like, probably tired and <laughs> oh, I've been so slow today, so don't mind me. I know who you are and I apologize. I, I don't know what is wrong with my brain mush <laughs> yeah I'm just a little ditzy sometimes you know I can't help it that's why I call myself an airhead <laughs> Because I'm an air sign, so I'm an airhead. My head is in the clouds. Showing me little bits and pieces of his place. And yes, I talked to him earlier today. And I talked to him yesterday. Oh, okay, hold on, you guys. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. One last thing before I go Jessica normally posts tons of stories to her Instagram and Facebook. There have been none, and yesterday there were two that were deleted. So, like, you could click on it, but it wouldn't show you what they were. So, I found that interesting as well, and I find it interesting that there's no stories today. Because, again, she normally has, like, 20 that I can go through every single day. Why is she being quiet? Something's up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.